Um, this week has been uh, uh, a bit of a, a situation for Metro Manila consider and, and Luzon, actually, because of the flooding. Um, I'm wondering, uh, in the national budget, in the proposed budget, are there any um, plans to address massive flooding, considering this affects business and everyday life of our citizens? Um, under the DPWH project, there's um, a flagship project there that, um, that is called a flood management program. In 2023, um, for this year, we have a budget of 185 billion, and for 2024, we propose 215.643 billion under the Department of Public Works and Highways Flood Management Program. And um, on top of this, there are also foreign assisted projects um, under Korea, Korea, Koika or Korean Exim Bank. These two projects are the Pampanga Integrated, uh, Pampanga Integrated Disaster and Risk Resiliency Project, tama ba to? And there's one more, yung Bulacan Angat Water Transmission Project. Uh, the Pampanga, it, the, it, it's a loan, so we, we just funded the um, government counterpart. So for the Pampanga, it's 1.397 billion, yung government counterpart, and for Bulacan, it's 7.4 billion. Tama ba? Tama ba? And under the MMDA budget, there is also uh, funding, but this is uh, mostly in Metro Manila. For, for 2023, it has uh, tama ba? flood control, 1.9 billion. Billion, and then for 2024, there's 1.3 billion pesos. Yeah, Gutierrez, ABS. I will put in some question on the flooding. You know, the climate change mitigation. How much are we allocating for 2024? In our budget, po, we have a program called Climate Change Expenditure Stagging, si set po. So for 2024, there's a total of 543.45 billion earmarked for climate change mitigation and adaptation projects and programs of the national government. This is equivalent to 9.4% of the total proposed budget exceeding our commitment of only 8% share under the Philippine Development Plan. Much of the projects po is, um, is for water. If I can, if, if I can just um, ano po, identify, enumerate the projects. For water sufficiency po, 294.46 billion. For sustainable energy, 180.72 billion. For climate smart industries and services, 6.02 billion. For ecosystem and environmental sustainability, 5.95 billion. Another 12.97 billion for knowledge and capacity development. Um, ano pa ba? Food security, uh, 40.18 billion. Human security, 2.58 billion, and cross-cutting actions, 550 million pesos. And related to that po is another 1.7 billion under the Philippine Space Agency to better monitor our land and marine resources as well as terrestrial ecosystems. I think this will be used for a satellite for a satellite, yeah. 1.2 billion will be used for multi-sectoral unit land assessment satellite development. Thank you for watching Politico TV. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.